like I gotta harvest some tomatoes. Look at that. But I have a giant zucchini in here. I kind of let it go uh, longer so it got bigger. Because the zucchini is just about done. And I eat so much of it. Oh my gosh, this thing's huge. Whoa. Oh my gosh, you guys. Look at the size of this thing. It was so big that this end was pushing up against the um, this thing right here. Oh, there's more growing, you can see. Ooh, yay. Hopefully they live. This one over here, did it die? Yeah, it died. It was a little tiny one. I had a feeling it was gonna die. All right. Now I gotta get some Swiss chard. So, today is really going to be sort of a catch-up, I'm going to open this honey, a catch-up kind of cleaning up kind of day. <clears throat> We've kind of picked up since the renewal and everything, um, but like, look at this mess. All of that, costume making. So like, my whole, look at this living room. Oh, Barbara, can you believe it looks like that? <laughs> it's a mess. <coughs> the kids are got their schooling stuff everywhere. We have to just get everything cleaned up. That my oldest daughter, Ashley, is due to have her baby any minute. And I mean, like, she could go into labor any time. She's due Thursday, uh, but she's ready to go, according to the doctor. So if she actually doesn't go into labor on her own by Thursday... They're going to induce her. Uh, so, on top of other stuff I have going on this week, this is like crazy week for some reason. Like Everything's happening in one week. So, uh, trying to get these costumes done too for this weekend. <clears throat> it's just a lot going on. So, I figure I'm going to take today. It's the one day I have nothing to do until later on uh, and clean. I've already started on the yard. Um, I'm going to clean the house, my porch, you guys. And this is still from the renewal. I, like, yeah. Boom. Look at that. Can you believe my porch looks like that? That's from the renewal because we had to rush everything inside that was out there set up. So it didn't get ruined. So it just found its spot here all over the floor and the couch and stuff and I haven't had a chance to clean it yet because I've been so busy so that's gonna get tackled today too on top of I gotta harvest some uh, tomatoes we have a lot out there and put up some stuff so that it doesn't go bad and to top it all off I can't find my tripod no clue where it is last I saw it my son Aaron the 16 year old was messing with it I haven't seen it since, and nobody seems to know where it is. How do you just lose a tripod? It's It's got to be around here somewhere, so hopefully I find it, because it would be a lot easier to talk to you guys if I had my tripod. I'm thinning out this cabbage. I'm um, just taking out the ones there's there's nothing. There's not going to be uh, anything in time before frost. So taking them out so I can get as much energy to the other ones because they're packed so close together as I possibly can, so they can get full size before we hit a frost, which are very very close. So we got here. This guy's pretty big. He's probably the biggest one right now. Coming. But they're doing really good. Lunchtime, little guys. Is that good stuff? 
They are chowing down on this cabbage. Goodbye, Basil. We're just gonna dry it. Still. <laughs> Another project today is drying herbs. They're starting to die out and we don't want that to happen. We wanna be able to save them. So we're gonna dry them, take out what we can and dry it. I mean, they still look really good, but we do need to dry it because um, our frost is coming up pretty quick. It's in October which is only, what, a week away? And we've had some really cold nights. Today's like the, a beautiful fall day, right? Yeah. Yesterday was I the first day of it. fall. It's gorgeous today. Can so. I cut some for you, Mom? Yeah, um, we're going to do from the bottom. Cut from the bottom as much as you can. All of us? Yeah, we're going we're gonna to dry a whole lot of it. you got a big stem in there right now. That's why it's hard to cut. Maybe I can cut it, yes. Those are your schooling scissors. <laughs> you should not use those and go get the other ones. Well, he likes the basil too. Okay, so we got a lovely little harvest today, and we're going to put it up. So I'm trying to think of what to do with these tomatoes, something a little different. I have sauces, I have tomato soup, I have lots of stuff already made. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I might end up making more because we eat a lot of sauce. But we got all right. So we are getting the house clean. Emily did a fabulous job in the hallway. She organized all the games. Um, it didn't help the light clean most of the porch for me. I still got a little bit to do. But um, so now we're drying herbs. All of our lovely herbs being dried, and the oven is still full. So that's all going. And so I was trying to think of new ways of preserving tomatoes. So got all these right now. And there's a ton more on the vines, which is beautiful. I take as many as it wants to give me. I use, I, I decided, I'm like, well, what do I use these tomatoes for? What is something that I am going to need that I typically buy, that kind of thing? And tomato paste. So I've made tomato sauce. Cause I'll probably end up making more of that because we actually eat a lot of that. Um, I've made tomato soup. I have in the past just sort of frozen chopped up tomatoes mm -hmm. to throw in a sauce or whatever, but I kind of just like didn't feel like doing that right now. I wanted to make something else today, and I always buy tomato paste, and I thought, well, let me make some and freeze it in my little handy dandy mini cupcake tin, and that way I have it just to pop out and throw in any recipe. So that is exactly what I'm about to do. We're at Joanne Fabrics and we're looking for fabric for Emily's costume. We need the body and I think we've got the hooves, right? We're going to go with this. So guys, we're making our costumes. Alright, Em, what do we think so far? We got the shape of horse's legs. Horse's legs. Yeah. They look pretty even. So yeah. I'm going to finish the shape now. Uh-huh. All right, so she's right. We're making costumes. Yeah. Honey, where'd the scissors go? The scissors? I lost the scissors. Oh, they're like way over there. I don't know how those got there. Thank you, dear. So Emily is a... Pegacorn. Pegacorn, we're calling it. So it's half a pegasus and half unicorn. Because pegasus don't have horns. Okay. <laughs> so she'll, she'll have the unicorn horn and she'll have wings that open and close. And then I'm making her what we're calling her butt. And that's basically her torso. This will be attached to her. And this will be the torso. And we're making the legs right now. So, um. Yeah. Yeah, that, um, it's, it's going. 
And we're also working on Aiden. It's going good. Aiden. It's going really good. It's going really good. Yeah. This is us every year. We're usually done by now, but we yeah. got a late start. Um, because so we're renewal. getting as much done as we can We right now. usually, like, start on the renewal. Right? Well, we would have started uh, at the very beginning of September or even yeah. late August. So that's typically when we start because we, but, we're crazy people and we like to go insane with their costumes. Yeah. But they're awesome.